How's it going fellow pickers? For this lesson we're going to take a look at how to play cricket on the hearf on the mandolin. This tune comes to us from Kenny Baker. There's also a really good version of it by Brian Sutton. Because it's the Christmas season and I have a bunch of Christmas gigs coming up as well as some studio work I got to do, um, I'm not going to take this and break it down in as much detail as I have some of the previous videos. But the melody on this is relatively easy. I think that if we play it slowed down with the camera close up on my hands, you should be able to follow along and do just fine. So first, before we take a look at the melody, we'll look at the chords, um, and then we'll look at the scale that it uses, and then we will get into the melody. If you want the tabs and sheet music to this, you can go to my Patreon page and find the tabs for this, as well as every other tune that I've done and every other tune that I will do for just $1 a month. You will also be able to enter into a giveaway at the end of this month for the new shirts that I've designed. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the tune. This tune only uses three chords. It uses D, G, and A. So I'll bring the camera close up to my hands and we'll run through the rhythm part together. One, two, three, four. D, G, D, A, D, G, A, D, D, G, D, A, D, G, A, D, D, A, D, A, This tune is in the key of D, so it has two sharps, the F sharp and the C sharp. We're going to run through the scale, but before we do that, we want to make sure that we're starting on the lowest possible note in the scale so that we have all of the notes that could possibly come up in the tune. So in this case, that lowest note is the G. The highest note in this tune is the B, and we'll probably just end up going to that high D anyways. So let's take a look at the D scale. G, A, B, C sharp. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And then the last two notes, if you want to just get that last octave in, C sharp, D. One, two, three. 